husband and I are both professors. We've taught a lot around uh, community development, historic preservation for decades, and we've never had one. We've always looked for one. They want to find a house that's close to her family. Jay threw his back out, so he is in the middle of physical therapy and couldn't be here. Still it's just going to be Rhonda here. today. I wish my husband could be here with me, <laughs> you know, to see the houses. But I think we know each other well enough through the years that uh, we know what we like. We know the, the styles of homes we like. They're wanting to stay between 175, 185. That's totally doable in Laurel. We can find a plenty big enough house that's got plenty of story and history. All right, let's talk about the Connor house here. All right, so we call it the Connor house because three generations of Connors actually lived here. It's uh, 1884 carriage house. Yes. Okay, it wasn't originally a home. It's two bedrooms, two baths, 2,500 square feet. And they're asking 75,000 for it, but we think you could get it for $65,000. Yeah. It's a little worse for the wear. <laughs> it's looking, it's age, but I think this house has a lot of interesting architecture, a lot going for it. So I did a painting. Okay. <laughs> and it's very different, but still kind of spooky, but I like that about it. Oh, that looks so much better. We could even consider it if yeah. it looked like that. <laughs> so I think it would be very cool to paint the house almost black. It's a really common color palette that you see in New England. Yeah. What you notice in the painting that's very different is we would just completely open up this little porch because it, it seems to have been a porch originally. Yeah. And you'll see there are these columns that are inside the front door that we'd like to bring out to the front porch. To do all that would be about $30,000. Yes. All right, Ooh, those are the door columns. Creak. Did you hear that though? I did. A good spooky door creak. But you see the break in the floor and then the floor mm -hmm. pitches. Mm -hmm. So that's a telltale sign this was a porch. All right, what do you think nice. about the living room? Well, I think it's, it's got some potential. It's, it's got a nice fireplace. Oh, <laughs> okay. What do you think? It's like a galley kitchen. The most galley. Uh -huh. Yes. Looks like it needs a lot of work. It's, it's, it's pretty gross. Up here is the coolest part so about magical. this house. Wow. <laughs> this stained glass is amazing. Right? And it's on both ends. That's just yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. We need a home office, and we think this would be the coolest office yeah. ever. To loft the ceiling, build everything out the way it needs to be, would be about $35,000. Yeah. So all in, you'd be at $185,000, which is at the top of your budget. But I work. don't know that you'll find this much history and this much charm in another house. Absolutely. And we have another house to show you that has okay. more incredible historic charm and character. It's not as unusual. This one is the Holloway house. Fanny Holloway lived here from the 1920s to the 1970s, and she was the telephone operator for the Eastman Gardner Lumber Company for a long time. <laughs> That's so neat. Which is cool, because it cool. it's right across from Gardner Park. 1,900 square feet, four bedrooms, two bath, Craftsman cottage, and they're asking $65,000 for it. I love the dark color, but I think that so much is painted navy. It does feel kind of lost. And typically you see a three color palette yes. Yes, exactly. with a Craftsman home. So I would love to bring in a historic three color palette. Oh my gosh, that would look so much better. Come on in. What do you think? It needs some work. Looks like the ceiling it's is going to, oh, okay. <laughs> but my goodness, this woodwork is, is amazing. It's really rare to find a house that the trim hasn't been painted, but this is maybe my favorite thing I've ever seen in a house. Oh, it's cool. It's a little desk. It's gorgeous. There is no kitchen. Well, so historically, kitchens weren't a social room. So this is actually pretty close to how it would have sure. been. I have a feeling that the hood vent was not lime green originally. I, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> but I like the green because it makes me think of like, do 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 do. Come on, Aaron. I don't know. Don't act like you didn't play Mario Brothers. Oh, oh the things that get this sucked into. Right. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is big. It is big. It's a nice bedroom, but you don't necessarily need four bedrooms, right? I think it would be a good idea to take this bedroom and give you a really great master bath and closet. Oh, nice. So we're going to add two walls. So you can walk straight in from that doorway, okay. come into the master closet, but you turn this way to come into the master bath. There's a vanity on the wall, and then there is a little room for toilet, and then you could have a walk-in shower in this corner and a big soaker tub 
right here. I like the soaker tub for sure. Yeah. And Jay likes the shower, so. It makes everyone happy. And essentially, this entire south wing of the house is then a master, master suite. suite. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Let's look at the master bedroom. Okay. And see what you think about straight it. Straight across. It's straight through here. That's real weird. That is weird. <laughs> I have to admit, that's really odd. We would just delete this box thing and fluff up this fireplace, see what's going on with it. And then this is a great master bedroom with your whole sure. wing to yourself. I like the concept. So for this wing, it would be about $27,000. So with a purchase price of $65,000, you'd be all in at $165,000. That sounds good because it's under budget. And that's the other really house nice. isn't, but it's such a cool story. So cool. Yeah. Let's go see the choo-choo. Choo-choo, Lulu. Go see if you can see it. Yeah, isn't this beautiful? Oh, it's gorgeous. It was built in the in 1920, I think, right? Yeah, it's good to see you. We're going to take a little adventure with Jim and Mallory and our girls to go to Hattiesburg on the train. Helen's never been on the train before. So which one okay. did you pick? Wait, how did you tell Jay about them? Oh, I, I showed the videos. OK. Uh -huh. And we had long conversations, but uh, Despite the attraction of uh, what I was calling the magical spooky house, uh -huh. uh, we've decided to go with the Holloway House in Laurel. The Holloway yes. House. All right. Yes. And, yay. Uh, yes. a yay. Yay. All right. Whoa, 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 be careful. I We're wanna... being careful. Okay, I want to reuse it. Whoa! Our plan was to just go over the plaster with sheetrock. But it really only works if the plaster is something you can go over because it's in good shape. This is basically powder that is held together with paint. And it's patched with styrofoam. <laughs> it's ingenuity. They patched it. <laughs> it got the job done. Yeah. The kitchen sink came out whether it wanted to or not, and it's going in the laundry room. <laughs> We're taking out the terrible closet box thing that's in the master bedroom. Taking down the wall between the kitchen and the empty room. And the kitchen. It's pretty fast. It's a good day. So far. That was so cool. We don't have to do anything. Dang, I'm digging this. You can actually feel the future kitchen. It's big. It's real big. You can't even do that in our kitchen. My special fancy repurposed hood uh, vent. Yeah, hood vent. Even though we changed so much, it still feels completely historic. The windows. Make it feel and historic. And that pantry, yeah. We haven't lost anything by losing the yeah. wall. Yeah. Set it over in there. Now that we're at the end of it, everything's coming together super fast. We're painting the office. We're finishing up trim work. Anything wood related is being completed now. What you think? I love it. It looks nice. Looks like it was always here. Yeah, and that's the goal. Gardner Park, it's Aaron and I, this is our favorite park. It is. This has never happened before where Jay did not see the house in the first place. He's seen videos and pictures, but it's not the same. So I'm thrilled to see the way their reactions differ. This is the Philip Stein house. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Beautiful. <laughs> it looks so much different. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you've not seen it, Jay. No, I have not seen it. You did great. <laughs> you did. I, I can't believe you're seeing all of this for the very for the first, first time. time. With you guys, we wanted to you know, focus on preservation because that's what you guys, that's what you care about. And so this is what a 1920s craftsman cottage would have looked like. Yes. And so we are very happy with how this this girl turned out. Oh my, this is oh wow. <laughs> this wow. Is I love the ceilings. <laughs> the ceilings are beautiful. Oh my gosh, the ceiling. The, the yeah. woodwork. This must be new. No. No. No? This is the, original. The ceiling is not. This is original? This is original. Oh, oh that wow. looks amazing. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, this is I can't, I can't. Wow, this it. is great. <laughs>
That cannot be that green one. <laughs> that is that oh, green one. Oh, wow. This is unbelievable. Is it, did you see pictures I of it? I did see pictures yeah. of that hood, and I was hoping oh you would save gosh. it. It was painted that lime green, and... We stripped it, and I spray painted it. I love it. Yes. Yeah, and the walls, I love the, the board back here. This the is... V-Groove paneling was a decision because we wanted to make your cabinetry feel like built-in <laughs> oh furniture. Gosh, this is Isn't it cool? <laughs> you can touch everything. I can touch everything. <laughs> the cabinets are beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Right? I love the tub. Look at this that. This is That's... awesome. I see what, you're, what you mean now. This was a bedroom. Oh. It was just a square. And this was all, we built this. I really like the shower. This is awesome. I love the cabinet tree. That's a very nice. Room. We do a lot of craftsman houses, right? But they're not always in the condition where we can restore what was original, or we have homeowners who wouldn't want it that way anyway. And this is one of those rare opportunities where the house gave us an amazing gift in the architecture and our homeowners wanted it exactly the way it should have been.